All right, here we are with uh, Ravnica, Dogs in the Guild Pact, Season 1, Episode 9. I am Ian, our referee, and to my left we have Explain Why. Peter as Idris of the Boros Legion and House Demir. Devin playing Kuro <coughs> Kanemaru of the Orzov Syndicate. Nicole playing Gato of the Cult of Rakdos. Awesome. Um, so... Quick recap of last episode. We uh, interrogated a hobbit peacefully. We interrogated a hostage, a hobbit, a prisoner. And we solved all crime. We have solved every crime. <laughs> we are excellent cops. Yeah, let's go with that, listeners. <laughs> we'll, we'll pretend that's a thing. Um, and you guys got the location of the hideout. For the big bad boss guy, the merfolk, who wears the screaming uh, man face, scree- screaming man copper face, copper face. Yeah, it's like a copper mask with like. This a is like a, this is like a, a fucking raft rakdos. <laughs> yeah, it's a it it's a rakdos club that is not is. Frequented by very few Rakdos cult members, even though it's one of the largest clubs in the city. That means it's probably really vanilla. That's probably what it is. Yeah, it's weird. It's... (laughs) Yeah. They don't party here for partying, they party here for money. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you wanna give me a jiggy with it when I get free con? You Orzovs and you other ones. So what's the name of the club? It has a name. <laughs> um, you guys didn't get the name. I was walking on in. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't you, care enough to know the name. You also don't need to make one up if, like, you can just say. Yeah, I'm guessing like if it has a yeah. name. Yeah. No, I didn't give it a name. That's fine. It's just it's one of the larger clubs. Not everything's named in this city, honestly. Like it's, yeah. The, it's it's a huge giant city. Things don't. Club penguin. <laughs> Red door. <laughs> like it's just a club, and yeah. Let's go to the club club. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you guys walk in. Yep. Okay. Uh. You walk in again. It's. It's a large building, and you can tell from the outside that most of the building is the club itself. Which is, again, this is one of the largest Rakdos clubs in the city. Um, So that's not super surprising, but it's still not common. Like, that's that's a lot of space devoted to one thing in the city. Um, Prime real estate. Yeah. Uh, You walk in... There's some people like, you know, greeting you, show, like kind of ushering you in. There's couches around and, you know, like booth seating style like clubs have. Like Security VIP. cameras aren't a thing, right? Um, you mean no. people on the lookout? So you mean bouncers? There's like, <laughs> there's magic and stuff, but not like security cameras. There are bouncers. Like if you look around, you do see like bouncers around. A number of them uh, wearing Rakdos affiliation. A few wearing Boros, which is kind of odd because Boros don't normally openly go to these things. Openly go to these things, but you just assume that they're probably getting paid well and they just don't Proper security. care. Yeah, um, you get the feeling they might even be there almost just to make sure that the Rakdos security is actually doing security. It's it's a weird, like this city's weird, you know? Like people and things don't always mesh and you got a lot of- Alternatively, the external torture market. Yeah. We're doing protection here. <laughs> um, Yeah, so there's like all these VIP booths around, like different, the club has a lot of different levels, like it's big and open, but with different like little mezzanines and uh, walkways and stuff overlooking the main area. And you can tell there's different rooms off to the side. Some of them have labels, some of them don't. Like some of them's like, you know, casino or bathhouse or 
just different things. Some of them don't have labels. Um, there's people milling about. There's like a big dance floor with some people dancing. Uh, there's so, a... just to interrupt for a second, but yeah. you know the word mezzanine, but you don't know or know how to pronounce the word ideologue. <laughs> I went for architecture. <laughs> or equipment. <laughs> Or items. I went in for architecture. <laughs> that was my schooling, okay? <laughs> you want to talk about terraces? I'll talk about terraces for days. But <laughs> mezzanines. Ian, yeah, it's pronounced terrorists. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so there's, there's people dancing. There's a live band, like playing music. Um, it's very tame for Rakdos in here. I was expecting it. But, I mean, it's still lots of debauchery and, you know, people drinking, doing drugs, all sorts of things going on. Um, yeah. Lots of people milling about. Just kind of crazy atmosphere. You guys are, you three are ushered into a, they, they saw your um, capital elite pin coming in, and you guys, without even questioning, they just usher you into a VIP booth, like a pretty nice one, off to one side, and you guys sit down, and there's a bottle of ether on the table. Aether. The, like, Magic. magical, I know, like, like, weird like, drug. Aether. But, like, Aether. we can't, we can't drink that, right? Like, he can't, but, like, we can't drink that, right? Some people do. I mean, if you're using that, you probably have methods of absorbing that or something. There's, it's, it's considered, like, some people put, like, a drop in there. Again, it, it's, it's a potent, like, drug, weird, it, it messes with people. Some yeah. people like to do it. They, you guys are high enough up in the societal ranks that they just put it there and don't ask questions whether you want it or not is up to you. Okay, yeah, I thought it would kill us if we drank it, but okay. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance it will kill you, but... <laughs> I had to pour up myself half of the bottle so I'm like absorbing it, you know. I figured you just drink it. You don't need to... I don't have a mouth. <laughs> oh. I'm an Aetherborn, remember? I feel like you can make a mouth if you want. <laughs> you're, you're made of magic. I feel like if you want to make a mouth to drink something, you can drink it. If you want to just pour it on top of your head, you can pour it on top of your head. I ain't going to question your character. <laughs> <clears throat> it's going to be imbued. Yeah. So, we want to go under the club, right? Hmm. Do you just want to like walk into a back room? Like we own the place? Sounds like a plan. Okay. It seems that we do own the place. We're a couple of elite after all. <laughs> okay. okay. So we just go. You just pick a random door and walk through it. Yeah, like whatever looks like it's like staff <clears throat> only. Don't go in here. Yeah, there's there's a door beside one of the security... Like a security guard is clearly blocking one door sort of thing. Uh, you guys walk up. Yep. I'm just gonna like motion my hand like out of the way. He kind of looks at you guys for a second. And then he moves out of the way. Lets you through. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys open the door and yeah, it's a, it's just a back staff room area. You see people are like getting changed, like eating lunch or dinner or whatever, breakfast, like whatever meal they're on that at this time. Um, you know, they got some lockers and different things here. Um, nobody really pays you any mind. They just keep going about their business. So, is it time to get changed? <laughs> changing to what? Is there another door out of here? Uh, yeah, you, looking around, there's a few, like, it's a good size, like, staff room sort of area. Um, you can see some doors that clearly go to, like, washrooms and, uh, different area, like, kind of other staff things. Um, and then some hallways that probably, like, lead around to be 
you know, back access into other parts of the um, stuff. But you see there's uh, one door that has another security guard added at the far end, kind of. Let's go there. That's probably where we need to go. How long was the chance that he won't want to let us in? Hmm. Pardon? How long was the chance of, that he won't want to let us in this time? Well, if he doesn't, then we fight him and tell him to fuck off. Yeah, we're gonna walk right up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the security guard looks at you. Hello. I'll wave, and then once again, motion to the side. Like, why are you in my way kind of thing? Uh, I'm more important than you in the practice <laughs> ranks. He just stands there and he goes, uh, sorry, this room's, uh, staff only. Are you starting conflict? <laughs> or do you want to just, like, you know, choke Can him I, out? <laughs> I would like to use my telekinesis to, like, pick him up and move him over. So I guess that's an attack. Okay. Do you want to pause while we roll some? Well, do we have to roll this attack, or is it a thing that happens? Like, does, does this become a conflict, or is this a thing that just happens? I was kind of gonna have this as like a prep to lower you guys just a smidgen. No, it's you're gonna win this, but you're gonna well, be. We have Nicole spend dice. Yeah. Um. Like, will, will she roll be your. Dice? What are you rolling? What's your um? Do you mind if I? Oh, yeah. like I'm I'm okay. not Maybe. pausing because I'm including it in this. I'm uh, saying, why not just have a little spend dice out of her pool? Yeah. Like, not like roll them, like just spend okay. dice out. So, like, What's your telekinesis? telekinesis is 1d6. So yeah. you used up your 1d6. Is that fair? Okay. All right, catch okay. one out. We're back. Okay, so Gato flings this guard just right out of the way. Dismisses him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he goes flying across the room and kind of just like, you know, crumples in the ball, but... Like, he's conscious and slowly starting to move, but he's sore as you guys open the door, and... Yeah. As we're walking by, I'll, like, bend, like, I'll, I'll like, warm myself just a bit, it's like, standing in front of an open investigation. It's illegal. He's interfering. He's a culprit now. <laughs> wow. He just, like, just stares at you, like, no one knows what to say to you, like... <laughs> right? We're sorry, Ian, <laughs> but... We're not. <laughs> like, like, there, like, there are a lot of bad cops in Ravnica. Don't get me wrong. The city is, I know, there's three is, of them right is here. super corrupt. <laughs> the city is super corrupt. It's super, like, everybody's out for their own guild's personal interests, their own personal personal interests. Like, it's real bad. But it's not always this blatantly bad <laughs> to people, so, like... I mean, plus the worst thing is that... We cannot be really bribed, at least, you know, our moral center cannot be bribed or dissuaded, no. so it's like, oh, we've got morals. <laughs> I mean, in one sense of the word. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys... We have conviction. Yes. Uh, you guys open the door and there's a flight of stairs that leads down. All right, down we go. Good call. Okay. Uh, you guys get down to the bottom of the stair. It's... Like a long, winding, like slow winding staircase, not like a tight, you know, okay. just slowly spiraling down. Um, Is there a banister? Yes. I slide down the banister. Okay. Uh, sliding down, you have to, you kind of get off and on every now and then because there's a few doors, like, as you go down. Um, but the stairs keep winding down. I don't know sure. if you want to poke your head indoors or anything. or. Uh-huh. No? Okay, you guys continue past all the doors, get down to the bottom. Uh, there's like a big, thick, iron wrought door with like magical etchings and carvings on it. And um, there's a huge hulking brute standing in front of the door with a few like mechanical uh, magitech pieces of armor on him. Hey, uh, hey. Aegis. Yeah, just... Hey, Aegis. You, uh, you still have that ether? Yes. I want it just for this reason. <laughs> Throw the ether at him? Throw it as a grenade at him. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll a dice here real quick. <laughs> Who knows? 
knows what'll happen. <laughs> Flowers. <laughs> okay, come on, Slayer. Uh, where was the ether rolls? <laughs> Oh wait, oh it's a d4, not a d6. Oh, it's a d6. You throw ether at him. Oh, okay, okay. And... The last session, might as well. Uh, yeah. You throw ether at him, and you rolled well. Um, <laughs> and all... The ether just breaks on him as he's, like, caught off guard. And you just hear, Ah! What the... Ah! 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 Bah, bah. <laughs> it's real fucking weird. As it turns into a sheep. <laughs> and there's just this sheep in full, like, Magitech armor standing in front of the gate. Oh, Does nothing. he still have, like, metal parts on him and stuff? Or? Yeah, no, they're full, like, metal Magitech armor <laughs> as he's just this sheep sta- standing there going, bah. I want some mutton. I was literally about to say pork chops. As he's like, and it's it's a large sheep. Like it was a large brute, so it's a it's a good sized sheep, just standing there. The... I guess I don't know. Make some illusion of some grass over there. Let them move out the way. I was just gonna knock him over. Uh, sure. Like he's in a bunch of armor. Sheep can't wear armor. He's just gonna <laughs> fall over. <laughs> no, the armor itself has like shift shape shifted into like sheep form armor? fitting sheep armor. <laughs> yes, yes. It's like full Magitech sheep armor. That this sheep is in. Does anyone have any like make friends with animals powers? Cause... Vampire magic. <laughs> Buffet shark whale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, we move past the sheep. Okay, you guys walk past the sheep. It's just kinda standing there confused, looking around. There, there. It starts to like walk a little bit up the stairs, and then all of a sudden you just hear <laughs> as like jetpacks like <laughs> boost it up the stairs a ways, and then you hear bah! And it's like clearly fumbling up the staircase. He's this the is coolest. gonna be so fun when we get reports on this. He's the coolest sheep around. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are standing in front of a wrought iron door with magical symbols. Hearing a faint bah, hoosh, bah, as in the background as a sheep goes flying through the staircase. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Well, that was fun. Uh, let's get these doors out of the way. Can we counter magic slam. Oh, yeah. Using up your counter magic? Sure, one of my details. How about that? Ta da! The door opens as you. Wave your hand in front of it, I guess. Slam it up, slam yeah. it against it, and just suck all the magic out of it. Yeah, the magic like channels through into your arm, and you just like feel it powering you up as you push the door open with ease. That was a good spell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you open up into a regular sized room. Like, it's not that large of a room in here. Um, there's a few bottles on the wall, some books on a shelf, and there is a merman, merfolk guy with a bronze mask on, sitting in a chair, uh, just staring at you guys as you enter. So this guy's a bad guy, right? Yes. Like, we're here to arrest him? Yes. I'm just making sure. I couldn't remember who or what we were talking I couldn't remember why. He's caused us, like, every problem we've come across so far. Not He's every problem, him. but a lot of them. <laughs> well, he didn't all cause the dog solved. to run away. <laughs> no. We did, he didn't cause all those crimes we solved. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was an accomplice. Maybe. Alright, I'll point. I'll do the dramatic point. Wait, what was this guy's name? We don't know his name. You don't know his name, person. No, no, we had a name for him. It was like Happy Mask or something, or Blood Face. You guys might have nicknamed him something. Yeah, you guys had a nickname earlier. It was like like Chompy Face or... (laughs) Chompy Face. Uh, Screaming Face. What what was it called, the Screaming Face Mask? He has a bronze mask of a, like, Screaming Man's face. Screaming Man? By the authority invested in me by the Guild Pact, you under arrest. Um, have you guys walked into the room? Yeah. Okay. He, Dramatic. Okay, yeah. He stands up 
and he just kind of stretches. No, he's got legs. Oh, it's like a little he's, fish tail. He's got like. <laughs> no, he's, he's not like. A, you know, a merman in that sense. But I was like, imagining like I'm Ariel's aquatic. brother. He's is he to air? Yeah. yeah. So he's more no. like a shark person, like a hoggling. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, he stands up like. He's, like he's got like webbed hands and webbed feet. And like fins on his legs and arms and like King fins Poseidon, on but wearing the uh, but wearing that fucking mask from Fall of New Vegas of the uh, the Demon of the West or whatever, Leg Atlantis. Just look up any merfolk from Magic the Gathering, and you will see exactly what. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. No, he just stands up as you point at them, and opens his arms, and he says, the guild pact holds no authority here, and the doors slam shut behind you guys. Then we have no... What's that thing that cops do when they follow the rules? What? Being good cops? No, 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 no. no <laughs> but uh, that thing they do when it's like, we don't have... You know, they like... They like make Jurisdiction? Sure no, like, they make sure like their head doesn't hit the cruiser after they arrest you. Not police brutality? I don't know the word damn it. Like, I have no <laughs> a really good rebuttal. It's like the guild bags of authority. It's like, then there's no need for us to go easy on you. Or, I don't know, or there, there's no such thing as police brutality then. <laughs> I guess you won't be reporting what Then what we do won't be considered brutality. I guess you won't be reporting this. Or something. I don't know. I said something cool, man. <laughs> Listeners, insert cool line from Devin here. Um, <laughs> right. So I tried to look up King Poseidon, because that's Ariel's dad, right? Yeah. And I just got a bunch of Transformers. <laughs> uh, like, they're all Decepticons. What the fuck? Well, I guess, you know, your search history has been tainted by too much Transformers. I guess. <laughs> like, really? The Little Mermaid's dad? Uh, so, like, this. No, he's King Triton. Oh, King fucking Triton. Poseidon's god. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, like that. Like, that's what I imagined. But like, he has like a fish tail. Mmm. Close, but closer to like, <laughs> closer what Peter posted. No, I bet. Yeah. I didn't even look what Peter posted. I, I can assume what generic magic fantasy creature looks like. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, the door is slammed shut, and he's immediately going to... Uh, like he's Fight get, he's moving. He moves his arms up, and with it, the room just slowly starts filling with water. Nice. Um, pause to roll dice. All right, and yeah, we're back. Okay, yeah, he uh moves his arms as water slowly starts rising in the room. So I guess I'll start. I'll use my vampire magic to turn into mist, slide quickly behind him, reappear, and use my counter magic on him to prevent him from, you know, raising up the water. Like, no, no. Okay. And I'll throw an 11 at him. 11. Uh, okay. Um. <coughs> you know what? He's going to start off with... Taking a consequence there. Because this is just violent currently. Yep. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, he's gonna take it. So he'll stop, like, the room stops flooding with water. It's now just about ankle deep. Um, and he'll whip around, grab you, and throw you back trying to like bowling style hit the other two sure. um so he's going to throw a 11 at the three of you take it who wants to go next uh, all right so you just dispelled him and he's throwing shit at us is he yeah. attacking Throw yeah he, he, he threw an 11 at you an 11? God damn it, Peter. I'm a big shit, Devin. He threw shit at us. <laughs> he he whipped Peter, like, he whipped Aegis at you guys. Just, like, trying to bully you over. <laughs> All right. He's One, casting two, three, magic. Four, five, I'm magic. 
Six. I'll burn six consequences because <laughs> I don't care. Ooh. And I'll just be like, shwing. Does it matter last session? <laughs> so yeah, as he's throwing them at me, I'll like, uh, I guess you're going to take damage. Maybe you're too close to the battle aura. But I'm going to punch my fist out and deflect he just by punching into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> just throw he just. Yeah. I guess I'll turn into smoke or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whatever Nicole does to we'll give her that 11 in the fiction. I don't nice. think, you know, vampires don't take as much bashing damage. Um, <laughs> right? I actually wasn't where he thought I was because of the mm, Nice. Aha! So yeah, just... So, okay. Who wants to attack? Oh, um, man. Uh, yeah, I'll go at him. Uh, I was originally going to use illusions to make him think that the water wasn't actually flooding, but then you just made it not actually flood. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, maybe think, make him think that it is actually flooding, so if you want to try to re-engage it again, he will be safe. Breathing underwater. Oh, ha ha ha. Uh, let me see what I got. Let me see what I got. So, why don't I throw a... Oh, this is from the sky, Devon's brother just you know, swoops on him. Oh, I already have. I'm already thinking about it in my heart. That's where I got those dice from. Ah, nice. All of your relationships, I've harnessed into my fists. <laughs> you, take some, you take out the picture of your brother. And... Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna play tactically. Use a four and a seven to throw an eleven at you, which means you have to use two dice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, tactical guys. Until he burns that ten, we have to throw eleven at him. Or just he'll take the eleven. So what are you doing? Oh, I'm running up, and I'm just going to punch him in the face. Okay. No, no, that's stupid. I'm fucking playing Kiri. What's in this room? Is this um, room in a stone? Water. There's about ankle-deep water. Uh, it looks like just kind of almost like a living room. It's got some bookshelves on one I end. I will run it's up got, and grab uh, a bus like off a little mini the... bar on the other. I will run up and grab a mini bus off the bookshelves I ran up to him. And you'll heads up and smash him in the face with the bust. Okay. Um, yeah, he like gets hit across the head and kind of steps back a little bit, stands back up. It looks like the um, copper mask on his face glows a little bit, like it was protecting him. And uh, he will like dip as he dipped down from your attack. He'll swipe his arm through the water and pulling it up, raise this like wave and throw the wave towards you, pushing you back. All right. Um, and he'll push back against you for uh, eight. Okay. I will deflect with eight. Okay. And then Nicole. Gato. Hey, you want to see my art? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Throw maggots at him. Illusions. What are your skills, abilities, things? What can can you do? Oh, hold on. Do you have a big... Do you have nine? Like, you have blades, you have... Yeah, I added shit in, but yeah. I wasn't being physical. Like, I wasn't actually being oh, violent. Oh, not... Well, <laughs> you can escalate to violence now if you want to. It's kind of the thing, right? Or just yell at him, be like, We are the police. You're arrested. Something, something. You're defiling this temple of Ragdos. You're filth. You're being too casual yeah. for this. Yeah. You're too PC. <laughs> Come on, Nicole, do something. Go for it, Nicole. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you throw oh, a me. me. Well, you don't have to have it not pause. Alright, well, I didn't know we had to pause. Alright, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to make it look like there's a uh, black eyed mermaid zombie, basically, like a dead little zombie child. Uh, coming out of the water at him. I'm trying to drag him down, sort of thing? Yeah, or like plaintively, like crawling up him, like, save me! Mm. 
earlier. Okay. Because maybe he has some tragic goal. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's why blah, 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 his, his kid died or whatever. <laughs> oh, you guys still... You know nothing <laughs> no, about him. I don't say that in character. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Either way, see <laughs> Chances a creepy, see I, a creepy, sad, like, dead-eyed child. See, I, was, I was picturing that so. in character. You guys, like, punching him to death. I wonder what his backstory <laughs> is. <laughs> Exposition. <laughs> His backstory that he committed all the remaining crimes. Yeah, throw the dice. Nicole, what are you throwing at him? Uh, I guess I'll use two sixes. Ooh. Or do I need two sixes? Wait, were you defending? No, she was attacking. Okay. Need at least eleven to two sixes. Yeah. Or she did she toss a ten, so uh, she'd have eight, to use eight, a ten. Twelve. So he pumps up his dice as well. Takes right. a consequence. Um, <clears throat> you can see he's like visibly shaken by this illusion, but after like kind of trying to hit it away, he realizes it's just an illusion and calms down. Um, and I will counter with my eight that I was saving up from yeah. when he threw an eight. Uh, eight and a three for an 11, and I will pick up the entire bar over my head. And uh, slam it down on him, yelling, I don't know, what's a good line? What's a good pun for beer? Drink up. Drink up! Drum on this. Drink nice. up, because heads up, drink up. Nice. No, not really, but yeah. For an 11? Yeah. Okay. Um, he will take that. And... Uh, as he's in the water, you just, like, he moves far too quickly, even though the water's shallow. He, like, swims out of the way at the last second and stands up, pulling, it's almost like he's pulling the water up with yeah. his hand, and it's, like, reverse whirlpooling with him, and it starts to, like, freeze and crystallize into a uh, sword as he just goes to stab you. With what? Uh, and he will throw a 13 at you. Or 12, sorry, 12. Oh, right. at me? Only me? Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess seeing that, like, oh, it's time to give him the pancast treatment. I reach over to the thermostat with my new fire magic, <laughs> crank it up, and also cast a fireball into, you know, start nice. melting his eyes and, you know, heating up this fish. Uh, you said 11. melting his eyes, and I was like, oh shit, yeah, okay. I mean, among other things. <laughs> all right, I'll 11. use all of my twos. I'll, I'll use six twos to, to, to get rid of it. Wow. Twelve consequences. <laughs> okay, 11 of him for my fire. 11 at him? Okay. Um, I'll take consequences from that. Um, yeah, he taking your fire magic, he moves... And moving his hands, he like forcibly hits the water and it freezes and it starts freezing up all your guys' legs. He's gonna throw a 20 at you guys. There it is. Ooh, a fool. <laughs> you better buy our trap card. Alright. That hurt somewhat. I'll just use my threes and a five. Nicole, okay. what do you do? I use a shit ton of dice. <laughs> <laughs> I took so. 18 consequence dice so far. Oh, okay. yeah. 18 d uh, And yeah, I'll <laughs> use my, uh, my spiked bladed brass knuckles to, like, punch my legs free, and then I guess hop on top of the ice. He just didn't catch me. I used my flash step skill, and I, like, zone teleported behind him. I'm zoning him, like, in a fighting game. So oh, every time I hit him, money's pouring out of him, whatever his value tables are. That's a mat. Amazing. Uh, his water shekels. 
<laughs> you can't call them that. <laughs> uh, uh, what are they trying to tell you call? Yeah. Um, I'm going to be escalating to violent. Roll uh, more dice. Sure. Okay, uh, Kuro, after he flash steps behind him, he yep. ha- he wrenches into the wall, into the ceiling above, because it's made of stone, I'm assuming. And yep. Nothing personal. And I'll bring some of the ceiling down on him. I literally teleported behind him and went, oh, that's nothing personal. Okay, I did it. I did the thing. Nice. And I will throw a mighty 12 at him. 12. <laughs> okay. Um... Six, nine, twelve. Four, four, so thirteen. Okay, yeah, he like gets hit with the ceiling and he's he's getting up, moving a little slower now. Um just kinda bracing himself for what's about to come next, because Um Are the eyes just holes? Yeah, yeah, they're just like holes okay. in the mask. Okay, um, I am Same with the mouth, like there's like a weird like screaming mouth that's just like a hole in the mask. Okay. Uh, I am going to uh, jump up off of the ice I'm standing on and uh, come down on him with the blades of my spiked brass knuckles into his eyes. Okay. Uh, 13. Is that what eight plus six is? Yeah. Then yes. Fourteen. That's fourteen. <laughs> yeah. Fourteen. Okay. Uh uh oh. That's a tough one. He's gonna have to pull out some more dice here, it looks like. Mm, uh, what's he pulling in? What are his stats? What's his doom in? Uh, yeah, he'll roll slowly out of the way as you said 14 at him. Yeah. Um, so he'll use those two. Uh, rolling, like, just barely dodging as your, like, daggers graze the side of his mask. Uh, alright, Pete, you're up. Well, I guess I take out my chain whip and just smack it over the face to get that mask off of him. I'm like, oh, start talking, otherwise we'll have to get to your violent with you. It's fantastic. Get serious. Because, yeah, that implies that like what we've been doing isn't violence for us. I just tried to stab his eyes out. <laughs> That's our opening move. Would you throw them? Um. We'll draw it in. Uh, eight, so how about a ten? Okay, throw in a ten at him? Yep. And he'll get rid of that. So he takes it and the mask falls, like, flies off of his face. He's just a merfolk. Um, okay. He doesn't have, like, a baby face or anything? No, no, he's just a merfolk. Like, he just had... It was... Like, you can tell the mask was enchanted and stuff. Um, Now he's got the cool scar to go along with it. And he's like... He just looks at you. He's like, Oh, you're gonna get violent? This is my home. This is my domain. And I will be the only one to leave here. And he's gonna throw a 15 at all of you. Um, by like just ripping up the ice and just hurling chunks of ice at all of you guys. 15? Yeah. Oof. Four, eight, 16. Oh, there we go. Four, eight, 12, 16. 22 consequence dice. Damn. I'm a little of them. All right, so ice is showering down on us. Yeah. Sorry, how much is this? Fifteen. Does he have any more dice coming? He has a few more. No. <laughs> Can you feel the dice right now? Oh my god! Running fumes, Nicole. You there look. we go. That's all his dice. Somebody set me up. Nicole. Uh, 
Yeah. This isn't your house. This is the house of Rakdos. That's exactly what I say. And I, uh, I'm going to try to do a few jabs with the spikes of my bladed brass knuckles yep. into his spine to hopefully paralyze him. Okay. Time to ter- tenderize this fishy <laughs> for later. Uh, 11. At 11. 11. Um, okay. MP. So it takes more consequence. And he's going he's full lethal explode now. After, uh, <laughs> after this is done, he's going to like a fucking water balloon. Uh, this is hard though. This is. Uh, what do you got, Pete? Aw, <laughs> uh, you got shit! <coughs> you got nothing! Aid me! <coughs> I command you to aid me. Oh no, you have a seven. Never mind. Alright, continue. Never. <laughs> wow! I mean, you could give. Oh, well, he has a six. So yeah, yeah no, do your thing, Peter. Drain his dice. Yes. I command you. Fine, I'll, I'll throw a 10 at him to so just, you know, start sucking all this energy out of him like a vampire I am. Sucking him down. <laughs> okay, your power. Uh, no. He definitely looks weak, like he's starting to limp a little bit. You can see after your comment about, like, this is the house of Rakdos, he turns to you and he just, he's like, yes, it is Rakdos' house. And I am his only true servant. I will set him free. The Guild Pact is holding him back. He could rule this entire world. I'm and doing it, that while he's doing this. <laughs> Listeners, uh, Devin's making an obscene... Uh, Take the jack-off motion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he roll in his eye. lunges at you. He's like, I will set Rakdos free and he, by destroying the Guild Pact. And he tackles Gato and um, could some- just full slams her. Sorry, could somebody else knock a dice off him so I can finish it? I mean, he's attacking, Just, he, so... He's full oh, slamming against Gato. Yeah, never mind. It's all for good. nine. Go, Gato. You can take it. I could more consequences. Is he wearing, like, a, like anything around his neck? Like a necklace or whatever? Sure, if you want. Yeah, like a chain, like a big. Like, yeah, like you can have a. Chain. Yeah, you can have a chain. <laughs> All right. Well. Well, because he's tagging, he's on top of you, right? Yeah. I was gonna. I was gonna. Never wants to finish this. So I can finish it. Now. Okay. All right. All right. So he's tagging. He's going all Merlock on you, talking about how he's gonna resurrect Satan and how you killed your own parents, just don't remember it, and all that shit. Kuro makes that jack off motion. Walks up behind him. I'm gonna hook my fist under his chain so I have like the back of his neck, and I will full on hu- pick him up off of Nicole over my head into the air. And as it's going to the air, I go, "Vagrancy is illegal, squatter," <laughs> and I will slam him like face and front of his body first into the broken debris on the ground and the ice in front of him. Sixteen, right? Yeah, sixteen. Yeah, he's got nothing to stop. That. Like on all the jagged fucking ice spikes and stuff. Uh, he just like smashes into it, and yeah, he's he's dead. <laughs> uh, he's he's full up dead. Um, because he was just a squatter. This was just us taking care of the homeless guys. We're like the most evil normal cops ever. We were just getting rid of homeless people. Um, yeah. Uh, as as he dies, you just see. In the like, in the corner of your guys' eyes, you see the mask like fade away, almost like a like ghostly hand. I choose not to see that. Okay, you that's fine. Countermeasure that or some shit. No, Colleen Bell. No. no, it just it like just in the corner of your eye. Kuro chooses not to see it, but the re- like you two, if you choose to see it, yeah. can see just like a, a ghostly hand, just kind of the mask disappears with it. Fucking ghosts! <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, shit. and turn the music off because it ends on the perfect part. Uh, yeah, you guys, he's dead. Do we want to? Good job, team. We cleared out this camp, homeless camp. <laughs> Do not play the music, Devin. <laughs> what music? What possible music could there be? The triumphant music. <laughs> Some kind of victory dance. This one? Yep. There you go. But yeah, I'll just 
Wipe my hands off, collect my shirt. This will suddenly increase the property value. I think this is a big property. <laughs> It'll help gentrify the neighborhood for good business owners. I'll pick up his dirty hobo body over my shoulders and bring him back to the precinct. I was gonna say, we should like flop oh, his no. body down on like Sergeant's desk and be like, Yeah, no. no, that's what's happening. You guys go in, flop it down on the side. Yeah. We uh, broke up a homeless camp in a Rakdos cafe. The sergeant just kind of, at this point, like he's he's read your reports, quote unquote, <laughs> over the last. My like, reports are hyper accurate. <laughs> and that's uh, why I say reports. Accurate to like our no, 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 they're 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 a, they're a boring play by play of events as they happen because he's not very imaginative. <laughs> um, you know, at, at this point, he's read enough of your reports that he's just like. Okay, then. Even um, the stuff that we did wrong, like the bad stuff has not been, like, embellished or anything. Yeah, no. No, I, I'm assuming, as you say, yeah. it's just an exact telling of how it went down. He's just going to be like, well, um, make sure the paperwork is done well. Uh, good job. The um, mask was stolen by a ghost. I will get people looking in on it. Perfect. Oh, he was also a, uh, worshiper of rat ghosts? But, like, in hmm. a crazy way. He wanted to kill the guild pack. You should know that. Interesting. Um. Okay. We will look we in get, and we see. Didn't get to we will look in and <laughs> see if there's any other, like, any if he has any other followers or any other connections. We'll we'll send a larger unit to storm the uh, club later. Ra- do a raid on it. Okay. And he, he stands up and salutes you guys. Well done, officers. Well all, done. All in an honest day's work. <laughs> <laughs> and I was Ian. Peter. Devin. And Nicole. And this is sponsored by Nobody. Signing off. <laughs>